What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new video on a discussion topic that I wanted to cover, man. A, a very important topic because this year is going to be a defining moment, if you will, for our WWE action figure collections. But before we dive into today's topic, I do want to give a huge shout out to our patrons over on Patreon. Huge shout out to our patrons, man. My boy Giovanni Porga, brand new patron member here on the MDT YouTube channel. Huge shout out to you, man. Appreciate all of our patrons over there. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron, link in the the description below. Also, you can grab some merch, so definitely do that. However, man, today I wanted to dive into the WWE Defining Moments line and just to discuss it a little bit here today. Also, my camera came in. Hell yes! It was a cold damn winter without that camera, Brad, but we finally got us a new camera in here, and I'm super excited for it. It looks great, and uh, you guys will see it in a later video, I guess, maybe. I, I don't know how I'm going to show the camera when the camera is itself seeing it through the viewfinder. I don't know how you... I can't... You know what I'm... I can't... Rev you know what? It's... But today, man, we're diving into the WWE Defining Moments Elite line. If you guys are unaware what this line was, it was a, it was a great line, a historic line in WWE action figure history and WWE Elite Mattel history, and uh, it started out... I don't know. I, I can't remember if it was immediately when Mattel started. I don't think it was. It may have been, though. I think it was, or it was shortly after Mattel had obtained the license. It was one of their big, you know, exclusive lines or one of their little sub lines there outside of the main elite line. We've ranked all of these on the channel here before in one of our ranking style videos, so if you guys want to check that out, be sure to do so because we can't update it until we get new Defining Moments, which is what this video is kind of about and kind of tying into the old Defining Moments line and kind of giving just some thoughts and opinions on everything going on on, man. So, first of all, if you guys were unaware, we are bringing back the Defining Moments line. It's coming back this year. Mankind is the first figure. They only showed the back of the figure. It's going to be ringside exclusive. I think the Defining Moments line is only going to be like two to three figures a year, and it's going to be the Defining Moments ringside exclusive line, and Mankind is the first figure. You can see the tax in his back. It's going to be very big historical moments, and I'm hoping that we stay on track with that. I think that was one of the bigger things with the Mattel, uh, like the old Order, Defining Moments line. I think he had some great gems in there, like some things that come to my brain initially are the Defining Moments Chris Jericho. Love that figure. I thought that, you know, the Macho Man WrestleMania 3 was beautiful. The Draft Lottery Cena, while the figure was super sick, I don't know. I mean, I guess the Draft Lottery was huge when he was drafted over there, but I don't I don't know if it was like Defining Moment, which I guess it was, but this is, a, this is coming from the biggest Cena fan on the planet, all right? So it's supposed to be Defining Moments, like a Defining Moment that defines their career is how I like to look at it. You had WrestleMania 25 Sean, you had a Sting in there, you had a Great American Bash Sting, which I, I thought was a dreadful figure. Just a dreadful figure. We don't need to see that again. Like, they, like I feel like just towards the end of the line there, there was some questionable figures, or not necessarily questionable figures, maybe questionable entries into the Defining Moments line. The Triple H was badass. The Stone Cold Steve Austin with the camo jacket was badass. I thought that those figures were absolutely fantastic. The Stone Cold Steve Austin that came with three championships was also awesome, but that also just kind of seemed like, let's get a classic Austin in there, like a simple elite Austin in there with three championships, and that was a great, beautiful figure, men on card as well. Used to shuffle them the hell out of it, and then, when it like a year or two ago, they just had like 60 of them on display at WrestleMania Axis. Hope that happens this year, because I'm going to WrestleMania, if you guys are unaware. I will be at WrestleMania this year, so if you guys are going, let me know down in the comment section below, and be sure to, uh, we're gonna make some things happen, man. Be sure to meet up with me, or speak if you see me, or be on the lookout. Yeah. We'll most definitely have MDT merch on or an, an MDT jersey, but the Rock and Sock Connection Rock figure was pretty good. And also, these figures are pretty old. I think the last Defining Moments figure was the Defining Moments Chris Jericho, which is one of my favorite all-time Mattel WWE elites. Don't get me started on the word life, John Cena, that just, just... However, I say all of this to say, I can already see the next ringside exclusive Defining Moments figure. And I think we're off to a great start because the first one's going to be Mankind, which is uh, just a beautiful figure, man. I'm so hyped for that figure. I'm just hyped for this line in general, and it outside, I've said this in a couple videos now, outside of the crowdfunding project, the next WWE Mattel crowdfunding project, the Defining Moments line is going to be the thing that I'm probably most hyped for going into this year, going into, you know, San Diego Comic-Con, going into Axis, finding out what the next figure is going to be, because this line overall does feature some of my favorite WWE Mattel elites of all time. While it did have some wacky instances in the line's history, at least in my 
opinion. I still think that uh, it had some gems in it, which we've discussed here, but the net, what I'm projecting to be the next WWE Elite Defining Moments ringside exclusive figure, I think it's going to be a Hell in a Cell Cody Rhodes. I think we're going to get a ringside exclusive Hell in a Cell Cody Rhodes, and it's going to be, it's going to feature the torn pec. It's going to have the bruised up pec. I think it's going to have like some sick packaging. Uh, obviously, I feel like you have to throw it back to the old style Defining Moments packaging. You slap a ringside exclusive sticker on it or a, you know, little thing on there. Like, uh, modernize it a little bit. You got to fit up with the times and everything like that. But one thing I didn't like, just a little side note, a little asterisk right there. One thing I didn't like about the packaging of the Defining Moments line is that you couldn't just hang it straight on the wall. You have to like set it on a shelf in a protector or something like that. So that's something that I'd probably like to change about the, those figures. But I guess they're probably going to run it back with a similar style box just because they want to, you know, keep that nostalgia. You hit people right in the nostalgia. I mean, this line originated in 2010. That was 13 years ago, which is sickening, but also makes me want to vomit at the same time, which is the same exact thing. So that's just a little asterisk note there, but I don't even remember what the hell I was saying. Hell in a Cell Cody. We're getting a Hell in a Cell Cody. I think it would come with a sledgehammer, potentially. I doubt it'll come with an interest jacket. I think it's really going to be sort of a repaint of his Elite 101 figure, which I'm completely fine with. You know, sick tights, bruised up body with like some cool paint shading or something like that. And I don't know. After that, I have no idea. I just think that's going to probably be... I thought that it would start the line like that because, I, you know, I want to say it was like six months ago or something like that. We had the news video where Cody went on to Twitter or an interview and he was talking about the torn pec and like how like he saw a figure like that and he kind of hinted towards that. I don't remember exactly what he said, but I do remember that video. I remember making a video about that and talking about it with you guys as a, like a news segment and he pretty much teased a bruised Cody figure and so I think that's going to be in there. I think that probably would have been a great way to start the line, but maybe they had already planned the line coming back already, so that's the reason that Mankind's the first one. But I also believe that the Mankind could be hinting towards the next crowdfunding project as well. Maybe we're going to get an authentic scale Hell in a Cell as the crowdfunding project with maybe an ultimate Mankind, but then people said, oh, well, they wouldn't do a ringside exclusive Mankind and then throw out there a Ultimate Edition Mankind, which I don't know. I mean, if you did like two decently different looks, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you threw in some other first time in the line ultimates. I doubt we're going to get any repaint ultimates. I know we did get the early bird Macho Man. Apparently there is an early bird special this time with the crowdfunder. I know I'm kind of going off of the crowdfunder, but I, I feel like these two things, like this is where I'm connecting the dots here with the Mankind figures and the tease and the, you know, the tears of the crowdfunding project here. I think it's definitely possible that a Hell in a Cell, we know it's going to be pricey. Maybe that ties into that Defining Moments Mankind figure that we're going to be getting. Maybe we'll see it on display. Imagine a WrestleMania Access display. Maybe this is going to happen. Maybe we see the Hell in a Cell structure and we see the ringside exclusive Mankind figure. I don't know. Maybe that's how they do it. Maybe they tie those together. We probably won't see the crowdfunding project on display, right? Because they need a little bit of money to fund it. But you also have to create some prototypes in order to show people what we're getting or what they plan to get. So maybe that's a thing. I don't know, bro. I'm just, I'm just, I, I don't know. But I do think that Bruce Pet Cody's coming. I think that's coming. I think it's going to be in this Defining Moments line. I could be wrong. I just think that fits an exclusive deal. You know, I don't think Mattel's going to put a Bruce figure out there on main shelves at retail. I just don't see retail spaces being okay with that, first of all. Second of all, I just think it fits perfectly, and maybe that ties in again to the crowdfunding project, and it could be a hell in a cell. One thing I do hope is that with the return of the Defining Moments line, maybe we get a Kurt Angle. I say all this to say, I want the Defining Moments line, this ringside exclusive line, to be epic. I want it to really capture that nostalgia of the Defining Moments line. I hope that the packaging's great. I hope the figures and the selections are great, and uh, I just wanted to make this video to also predict, I think, that we will be getting a Cody Rhodes Defining Moments figure, and yeah, I think that's absolutely legitimate. However, man, that's pretty much going to wrap up my thoughts. I want to get on here and talk about the Defining Moments line, because it was in my brain, and I, I thought of the Defining Moments Cody, and I was like, dude, I gotta get I gotta get some thoughts out there. What do you guys think? Uh, do you think that there will be a Torn Pet Cody, first of all? Do you think that we're, it's going to be in the Defining Moments line? What are some dream figures you'd like to see in the Defining Moments line? Let me know all those things down in the comment section below, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Interested in becoming a patron of the channel? Interested in buying some MDT merch? Check it all out in the links in the description below, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Praise God, we finally got the camera in. Have a blessed one. We'll never back down. We